Hi everybody, it's me Janet. It's been a while. I haven't put out a video and today I'm so excited to share this here project with you. This is uh, one of those projects that you just stumble upon and it turns out to be a good stumble. So what happened was I was at, walking around in Michael's. I could spend hours there and I came across what they call the quick yo-yo maker and that's this and I looked at it and I went gee those they could almost look like make a flower and just from the picture so I bought it and come home and followed the directions and this is what I ended up with which it, it's perfectly fine it's pretty uh, the only thing was was that I just I wanted something a little bit bigger and so I played around with the yo-yo maker and I said well maybe if I add a little bit of material to it and this is what I came came up with. So for this project, uh, what you need to do is, um, I'm just gonna show you first some of them that I've made. And the one that we're making today is this one. And uh, it's got beads and a little piece of bling in the middle of it. And this one here, what I did was, I just took and um, cut, the, cut the tool after it was all put together which would be great for Halloween, which is coming up. And this one here, I did the same thing and just cut the tool. And this one, what I did was, I'll show you this one. This one, I just took two pieces of material, one, one's bigger than the other. And I, I kind of really like it when it's that way. But what I did was I took a piece of just cotton and dyed it and then stamped it. And so that's what I come up with with that one. This one here again, tea dyed the material and I've got the material the two of them together so it's the same size and then took a piece of uh, ribbon or lace and sewed it and put it on here on the top and then added the um, beads to it and this one here was just again dyed the material and then added a little uh, rosette in the middle of it uh, this one here uh, Prima has a flower that's kind of similar to this here one called the ballerina and um, they do have some other flowers. I'm not sure the ZZ or um, Zazi uh, flower, and that's something similar to these. You know, they do have the um, they they do have the beads um, in them. So for today's tutorial, I'm just going to move this stuff out of here, and then um, so that we can get to it is the things that you're going to need is first you'll you're going to need to purchase the um, quick yo-yo maker and mine's a small and then what you're going to need is some beads you're going to need some hot glue you're going to need a needle and thread and i'm using black today for just for the purpose normally i use white thread and you're going to need a piece of bling for the middle and some adhesive and that's optional and then what I did was I cut some templates I have a three inch template circle a three and a three quarter inch template circle and a four and a quarter and a five and for today's um, flower I used the three and a quarter and a four and a quarter inch circle for it so I've already got mine cut and what I do is um, for my once once I cut my material and with the yo-yo maker is I take and I put a little tiny bit of adhesive in the center of the bottom and this is it's always reversed so whatever is going to be on the top is going to be on the bottom so this one's going to be on the bottom and then whatever's going to be on the bottom has to go on top so this one here we're just going to line up and that blue's not really really dark so And then just rub that and that's just so that when you go to put it into the yo-yo maker it, it's easier it doesn't uh, move around which I find that it does uh, so the yo-yo maker the way that it works is it has a top plate and a bottom plate and on the top plate if you can see the top plate has these little notches on the top and then on the bottom it also has these little tabs on the top these tabs there's three of them have to mate up with the tabs that are on 
the top of the yo-yo maker. So it'll go like that. And you can see the holes. And the thing is, is that they have to match up because if not, then it, it won't come out properly. And that's either way, if you're, if you're using the directions to make the yo-yo or not, um, there's only just one step that I kind of, I don't do. And the material too is the other thing is that you have to cut it down, which we're not doing. We're making, we're using bigger templates. Um, so that's really, really important. And I call the, the bottom is the little smileys and that's where your thread ends up going through. So the first thing that I do is I just lay my material into the center of the yo-yo maker and then what I do is I just turn it down and put my finger where that notch is just kind of for guidance because it's hard to see with your material and then what I do is that's why it's good to use the tool because the tool you can you can see through it so then you just take and once you know that they're matched up you just push it down and it'll click into place so that's all there is to it is um, putting that together so now with your needle and thread and with your beads what we're going to do is I'm going to start sewing the yo-yo uh, so this little notch that's here this is where we're going to start is on the left side of that notch and you're going to you're going to put your thread and needle down and through the top of it and then up up through the bottom and you always have to start this way for it to for it to end up right is I'm just going to pull that up through and then I'm going to put it down and through the other side of the smile I'm going to call it a smile and just like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a bead at this time So it's every other one you're going to add a bead. So again, we're doing the same thing. You're going to put it down and through. And then you're going to pull that. And then you're going to go through to the other side, just like that. And add a bead. So we've added that other bead and now we're going to just again putting it down through here and then up you'll pull it up through and then down through on the other side and then add another bead and this is probably the, the most work for creating these is this. So up through and then down through on the other side and then we're going to add another bead. Now the beads are optional too. You don't really even have to put them if you don't want to. I just really like, I have all kinds of beads. I used to, I, I did make some jewelry and so it's a good way of, if you got a stash of beads laying around that you want to get rid of. So again, you're going to come up through on the other side and then add another bead again we're going to come up through oops and down through Oop. strings getting caught up on me and then add another bead So these here, the yo-yo makers, I did I did look on the internet and you can buy the yo-yo makers and actually they have it so that you can buy some that are shaped to make butterflies and some um, other shapes of flowers and uh, bigger sizes in, in the just the circle yo-yo maker. So if you guys wanted to check that out, just um, I would just type in Clover 
quick yo-yo maker and you can it'll bring up all kinds of different sites of where you can purchase them at. So again we're going to go up through and then down and then add another bead. For the first couple, I would even suggest that you just use the tool just so that you can see where the holes are and get familiar with with um, with the yo-yo maker of because it just makes it a lot easier. So come to the end, you will end with a bead. And then just hang on to your thread, and I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like when with all the with it sewing on that side, and then that's the bottom side there with everything sewing. You can almost see the black thread how it goes in through, and then what you do is you just pop the yo-yo bottom piece out, and then this is what it's going to look like. That's your top. And then your bottom piece just comes right off just like that. And I'm just going to move this out of the way because I want to zoom in so that you can see. Okay. So what you're going to do is at this point is we're going to take and we're going to pull our thread. So pull your thread on one side and then pull your thread on the other side. And what it's doing is it's gathering, it's gathering it. And then what I do is I take and tie, tie a knot. And you want to get this nice and tight. So this is kind of the tricky part because you want to be, you want this to be nice and tight and that circle to be nice and tight. So with your one finger holding it, and then the other finger, like I said, this is probably, you want to get this nice and tight, and then tie a knot. So that's what it's going to look like when it's completed and there's the bottom it's just like a little bubble that's on the bottom of it and then what I do is I just make another another knot to make sure that it's secure and then just take and cut your string just be very careful that you don't cut it too short because I've done that and you gotta start all over again. And then with your piece of bling, you're gonna take and put some hot glue just into the center. Of that. And then take your bling and just Put it into the hole and then just hold it there for a second so that it glue, the glue um, gets some time to work its magic. And then just peel that off. Voila! So that is our tutorial for today. Thanks a million for coming by. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you again real soon. Thanks. Bye.